will come to Bob's training and decode solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, and if you need some help to um, regarding technical interviews, feel free to check us out at bobstraining.org. We're here to help you. You are not necessarily need to buy. You don't necess necessarily need to buy our mock interview series. You can just shoot us a few emails regarding your questions and stuff. See if we, can, if we can help you. And also feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog right here. So we are pretty much every week we'll publish at least two articles to help you nail down your next biggest offer. Okay. Um, so today we are going to uh -oh, talk about a problem called the longest pending. Palindro palindrome 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 palindromate substring whatever um okay so palindromatic no not matic palindromic holy shit man um just uh, just having some fun i guess um <laughs> so essentially where do I want to start? So, oh, so basically giving you a string to find a palindromatic substring within this string. And uh, this method pretty much, you can think about this way, right? So a, if a string is palindrome, you can just start from the middle. Um, if it, so there could be two cases, even and odd. So let's just talk about the uh, odd case first. You could start from the middle and the left and part and the right part should always be the same. And if it's even number, so you can think about it, there's actually a uh, invisible line. Invis so if it's like this, you start from the middle, from B. So if it's like uh, this, so there's an invisible line in between, right? So you can always start from the left and the right. So that's essentially makes uh, telling you if your current index is I, so if it's for all the number, so you should ex expand from I minus one and i plus one right so if it is like this your current index for example is uh zero one so your current index is the current index i so what you want to do is you will expand this direction so for example your current index is at this a which is the let's say it's this one right so you want to start from from including itself so basically it should be i and then i plus one um let me think so it should be i and uh, i plus one yes so basically that's that's two ways so when i is equal to zero so you, you start from both directions like this okay so our method is in that case it's going to be a one square method essentially it's like so for each of the string you, you expand at each of the position you spend the two directions to see if the pattern go and then you keep a maximum one because this wants to return a string, so you have to keep track of the uh, the optimal start and end, so that you can there um use a substring to construct the result back. I apologize for I could not pronounce the word palindromic palindromic string. All right, okay. Uh, Like this longest one. What is the longest one? Just return itself. And
so it uses itself as the uh, as the middle point. And in this case, we'll see we we'll turn our stream back. So what would be our what would be would be our maximum start and a maximum end? So we can just uh, store it. Or do we really need to? I don't think so, right? When we first do the expansion, do you count itself in? Okay, move on. I'm thinking if, we, if you just pass in a, a pattern uh, drum, which is itself. Everything here we're gonna do is
need to be like this, okay? Because whether you succeeded or not, if it's your pattern, then you just keep increasing. It's not pattern wrong, either due to whether it's left out of bound or right is out of bound. You always want to move to the previous one. Yes. And now what I'm thinking is actually the edge case. I'm thinking my algorithm is correct or not. I'm thinking edge case, for example, is just a, a letter that itself, for example, just an A. Okay, just the A. When you expand, the lens is one. So you treat it as you treat it as itself. So it's gonna be a letter A here. I started from zero, expand minus one and one minus one and one so it just directly return minus one plus one zero and one which is a zero zero oh i think it actually works huh, interesting mm, let's see. A input if it's just itself, expect it should be A. I thought I checked. Substring minus 1 plus 1, 0. Lens is one. So it should be including the zero one, not including. So it should return itself. So when you do this, uh, Right. Wrong answer. CCC output C expected CCC. Yay! Okay, so I think this this problem is this is the easiest way to code it up. There are some minor cases, and uh, uh, I did a quick search. So there apparently there's a you could also use DP to do this. Um, the complexity also O n square just like this one. So there's an algorithm called a man manager's algorithm. You guys can we can Google it out. It's, uh, it's supposed to be an O n algorithm, but by inserting some special characters. But it's very tricky, and uh, and also, I mean, whenever when you talk about inserting special characters, you can think of, oh, what happens if the string has this special character? What if the string contains everything? So how are you gonna do it? Um, but anyway, so that's a very tricky one. So you insert it, you insert it, kind of similar like this method. Um, but I don't think uh, interview expect interviewers are expected to see that algorithm on, unless you see this question before. So all right. Um, Thanks a lot for watching guys, bye.